here we are and welcome back and this is taken from a nation's cup event from back in the day a couple of years ago one from the archives but a good race i thought to share with you guys as we start in p2 we get an awesome start so we're on the outside of affinity racing and we'll go on board with them now just to have a look at this move this end will just be a race long battle with affinity 15 lap race we're on racing soft tires and we have to pit and use the mediums too so essential to get a good start which we did around the outside and we see if we can use some overtake as well just to try and maintain this lead at the end of the straight an awesome start at the minute in the super formula cars and this to me is one of my favorite combos in the super formula car at spa what an awesome awesome combination as you can see we're coming down the straight infinity now slipstream but we are using quite a bit of overtake to make sure that we stay ahead into the first sector go slightly deep because the tyres are still cold so we're going to make sure we're going to get some heat generate some heat into these tyres to give us the best chance of staying ahead but a perfect start on this 15 lap race we've got affinity in second and we've got reflex in p3 as we're pushing as much as we can as you can see we've got a bit of a gap now about a second uh, we've pulled away already to myself and affinity but one second round here is nothing. If you make one mistake, that can be on you straight away. You can see we skip to skip forward to lap four. We've got a fastest lap of the race in a minute, 152.7. We're absolutely pushing as much as we can. You can see at the minute we're absolutely flying. We're trying to get this fastest lap as well. We want to try and increase this gap as much as we can. These tyres are going to last us around about, I think, lap 9-ish, lap 9 to 10. So, on board with the finishes, you can see we're just there ahead. About two second gap, I think, at the minute. So we're slowly increasing this gap, coming across the line, and we're going to set the fastest lap by the race, 52.4. So, it's now just about tyre management and tyre wear. Fuel we're okay with, don't need to refuel, which is fine. Let's get forward to lap 8. As we go through Peon, Oh, the back end comes right round. We get a right snap. Managed to hold it just about. But yeah, lost a lot of time there. And you can see we that two second gap that we had. Affinity now is closing the gap. That's probably around about a second just over. So we skip forward to lap nine. Put it on again. This time we don't get a snap, but the car just is not gripping. I've lost all confidence in these tyres. We are slightly wide again, which is just bringing Affinity back into the game, back into contention for this win. You can see now we've got dirty tyres, luckily didn't receive a penalty for that. But we've got dirty tyres, so Infinity is right on us. So I decide, at the end of this lap, we have to pit. I haven't got the confidence in these tyres, we don't, can't afford any more mistakes. So we're coming to the end of the lap, lap 9, so Infinity right on our tail now. So we're going to the pits to get rid of the softs. And we're going to put on a fresh set of medium tyres. But this, I think, is going to give Affinity um, a slight bit of undercut. He's got one more lap on the soft tyres, which are faster. Even with tyre wear, he might be able to push them a bit more than we can the mediums. But as we come out, we've got a fresh set of mediums. We've only got about a quarter of the overtake left, which is essential for the last part of the race. So the end of lap 10, Affinity makes his way into the pits, having an extra lap on the soft tyres. It's going to be interesting to see how close this is going to be after this pit stop. As you can see, we gain P2 after P3 pits. But this is our battle for the lead, me and Affinity. Can we come out in front? Or is it going to manage to get an undercut? As you can see, we come around the first corner. He's just in front, just comes out the pits, just in front. We'll go on board with him and see how close it actually is. So he's coming out the pits. I'm going to look behind. And there we are, just exiting the first corner. So he manages to get a, an undercut, but we have got warmer tyres from doing that extra lap on the medium so this could be crucial coming into this first chicane after the straight as you can see Affinity using a bit of overtake but not too much to defend and we're using a lot of overtake we know we've got to get this move done because it's going to be very difficult in the last part of the race we come across we take the inside manage to get down the, the inside on lap 11 and we'll have another look at that so he's right in the slipstream and overtake you can see how much overtake we've got now just under a quarter left. Just slightly deep, but we managed to gain the lead, so we need track position. I think it's more important than trying to stay behind. 
because uh, then you can have a mistake or anything else can happen. So on lap 13, we managed to put a little bit of a gap on these medium tyres, but you can see on the overtake, if you look there, Infinity has got half left, so this is going to be very tight towards the, the last two laps. So lap 14, you can see in the bottom right hand corner, Infinity using the overtake button. Try and close this gap as much as you can. It's probably just over a second at the minute. Coming into the last chicane, very, very tight. On to the last lap of the race. So, so far, what an absolute epic battle between myself and Infinity Racing. We're coming through Radon and Eau Rouge. I've literally got hardly any defence left. We're going to use all our overtake. We've got hardly anything left, but you know, this is the main place to overtake and the last corner as well. We're hoping he hasn't got any overtake left. He's saving a little bit there, but he's closing right up on us. You can see that's purple sacks. He's absolutely flying in the first sector. He's right in the back of us now. We're going to make sure that we nail this middle sector as much as we can. We were quite strong here, so we know we had a bit of a bit of a chance to try and pull a bit more of a gap. Come to Pion, hope there are no mistakes this time round of the medium tyres. A bit of a lift to make sure that we're nice and safe through there. You can see we're pushing. And I think we're just going to be okay. We've got about an eight tenths of a second lead at the minute. As you can see, I think we've got a tiny bit of overtake left actually there, which we uh, yeah, which we just use. Affinity is closing. He's got the last bit of overtake and he's in the slipstream as well. As we come to the last chicane, just got to make sure we hit our breaking point and turning points nicely. Don't overshoot it. Nothing silly, no silly errors. You can see on board with the finish now how close this is. After 30 minutes of racing, we come across the line to be separated by about two or three tenths of a second. What an absolute epic race. And that was a victory for myself on a Nations Cup. But what a race, and if you like that guys, like and subscribe to the channel, GG to Affinity, and I'll see you guys next time, laters.